Welcome back to Digital Wanderer. And today I have a treat. I've been wanting to show these devices on the channel for a quite a long time. And I just got around to doing it. Uh, they require some prep work because I haven't turned them on in a long time and I wanted to uh, do some maintenance, um, to updates and everything else. And it was a struggle really. Um, so we only have one of the devices turned on right now. And I don't know if we'll go further than the lock screen because you, one thing about this channel is not only are my videos unscripted, but also these are my personal machines. So sometimes I have personal information on them. So I have to be careful about what I show. So for right now, we'll just be on the lock screen. Uh, but these are Windows tablets. They are not, and not Windows phone. Were there ever Windows Phone tablets? I'm not sure, but uh, these tablets run desktop uh, Windows. Uh, so these are mini tablets. And I think this category is pretty much dead in 2021. But at one time, they were alive and kicking. And I actually got all, each of these devices actually bought directly from Microsoft. They were available on Microsoft's website. So what we have here, we have a Toshiba. Uh, I forget the name of this device. Let me see if I can find it real quick. The Toshiba Encore Mini is the name of this one. And that was from 2014. Uh, what we have is, is actually on right now is the HP Stream 7 tablet. And then we also have a new vision here off to the side. You can probably barely see it. That's a tablet as well. And the good thing about these tablets and why I was interested in them at the time, because you had the issue with um, as great as mobile uh, operating systems are, like iOS, Android, and um, iPad OS. And this is especially true during these times, you know, you're talking five, seven years ago uh, when I got these devices. There were certain things they just couldn't do because certain things you could only do on a desktop operating system. So these devices, you can get around that uh, because they actually ran desktop windows. So you could do desktop applications, desktop, you could download desktop software, and they had the small form factor. These are seven, eight inch tablets. So they were, this was a category that I was waiting to see a product be released in at that time. And when it finally happened, I was, I jumped on it. Um, but I don't use these tablets that much anymore. And you might ask why, if this was such a great category, why don't I use the tablets that, and that much? Uh, because um, one of the things that was so great about them were their price. Um, I look back through my records here and I paid like $99 before tax for each of these. Uh, they, it was a great price to get desktop windows at that, at that small of a price, a hundred bucks. And, um, and at that time I was strictly a Mac user on the desktop. So to be able to get windows at an affordable price and be able to experience that windows at home, instead of just using it at work or school was a great experience. Um, it, it really helped me because, um, and I've talked about this on the channel before 2017, my main MacBook at the time died, the hard drive. And I started using a Windows laptop that I got a hold of for about a year and a half as my main machine. These devices really helped me prepare me to use that Windows as my daily driver for about that year and a half. I got a lot of experience using Windows at these devices. Um, but there was a lot of issues. Um, uh, I, on these devices I have here, they only have between one and two gigabytes of RAM. They have very low internal storage. This only has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, these, uh, these other two have 32 gigabytes. Um, and you know, the processing power was not great. So although you do have access to desktop windows, it wasn't um, the experience that you would get from a laptop. And I would say that, uh, cause like this is the HP Stream 7. It doesn't look like HP makes uh, inexpensive tablets anymore. At least I couldn't see it. Um, I didn't look that look that thoroughly. I did check on Amazon, um, 
but I think the stream tablets, or excuse me, the stream uh, laptops that they make, those inexpensive laptops that HP makes, uh, it, I have a little bit of experience. I never owned one, but I have used one before, and it seemed like the experience with those were a lot better uh, than the experience using a desktop operating system on these smaller tablets. Also, the battery life on these tablets are really bad. As you see, this one tablet I have connected to this extended uh, charging cable, uh, and that was one of the ways that I was able to utilize this tablet because when it wasn't connected to power, um, desktop operating systems are just really power hungry and it just wasn't, the battery life seems like after a few hours, you were basically uh, getting messages that's letting you know that it's a low battery. So I did connect it to this and I used it often connected to this extended cable, which is about, um, was about nine feet, I guess about three meters long. So um, it allowed me to have some degree of mobility and still be able to use the tablet. Um, the size with these tablets were great. Uh, I mean, that's the thought of having a, a tablet, a seven inch tablet that could have fit into not only any bag, but even a lot of pockets, like especially jacket pockets very easily. They weigh almost nothing. So from a travel standpoint, I thought that these would be the perfect devices for me. Uh, you could leave the laptop home and take these, uh, but um, they just, they were so underpowered that a lot of the desktop software just did not run that well with these. A lot of memory issues, a lot of things just weren't as optimized as you would get with a mobile phone. Um, the mobile apps that you use on a mobile phone are completely optimized for that platform and things run smoothly and there's less battery issues with mobile devices as compared to this. Also, um, uh, they're kind of in-betweeners, I mean, because they don't run desktops, applications and software as, as well as you would get on a laptop. And another thing um, that was a kind of problematic with these devices, um, along with the battery, is that they don't really, um, the battery, as I mentioned, as far as the mobility, is it was a big issue, but also just they're not great at being a mobile device. Um, one of the things that's great about mobile phones is they have plenty of apps that really fit into the mobile experience. The desktop apps that run on these do not really fit into a mobile experience. I mean, you could just think of things like just looking at a map. Uh, the way you use that on a, on a desktop computer and the way you use it on a mobile computer are completely different. Just trying to shoehorn uh, desktop applications into a mobile lifestyle. And that's something you would have to consider if you're going to use this a lot, especially as a mobile device, and you're going to take this around with you. There's certain things it can do well, but it's just not as smooth a mobile experience as you get on a mobile phone. So it becomes kind of a tweener device where it does nothing as good as the alternative. It doesn't do desktop as good as dedicated desktop devices, and it doesn't do mobile as good as dedicated mobile devices. So as much as I like this category, and I, I mean, I have three devices in this. I have three iPads. So when it came to tablets, I really put a lot of resources and effort into seeing if this was gonna work for me. And I thought this would be the category, um, but it just didn't work. You know, maybe if these devices had more resources behind them, they had more memory, more internal storage, more processing power while maintaining this form factor, uh, it may have worked. Um, but um, yeah, I just don't, I don't think um, it just uh, didn't hit the marks just as it needed to. And the thing is, it doesn't seem like this category exists at all. I did a little bit of searching. I couldn't really find uh, any type of tablets, Windows running full desktop windows in this price range. Not a lot of stuff in this price range anymore. Uh, even when I went on Microsoft, like I got all these from directly from the Microsoft website. Uh, when you look for tablets on Microsoft right now, all you see um, is Surface products. And then I saw also Samsung tablets that are running, you know, Android. So. Uh, it doesn't look like there are many cheap Windows tablets.
tablets like this anymore. Uh, although Windows is a huge world of products out there, there might be something in another country that I'm not aware of, uh, but I couldn't find much here when it was a, a category that actually has some entrance in uh, things happening at one time, uh, but it doesn't seem like that is still the case. So it's a shame, it's the passage of time, but it's still something that I really enjoy having in my collection. Really hard to maintain these devices. I tried to prep them uh, over the uh, last few days. Uh, one of the problems with these devices is many of them had kind of like proprietary charging cables and chargers. So I have plenty of micro USB chargers. Only the HP Stream 7 seems to be one that can kind of take any charger or any cable. Uh, the other two, especially the new vision, uh, this is um, really difficult to charge. Uh, you really need the charger that it comes with. Or I did have one other charger that was able to um, charge this device. I don't even know if I still have that charger any longer. It's many years since I was using this device on a regular basis. Um, funny thing is, when you look on Amazon, I think a lot of these projects, they still have their project, uh, their uh, product page. You can still find it. Um, I'm going to try to link some things about these devices uh, below. I'm going to try to find the best uh, page that I can find on any of these devices. Uh, just to ha I always try to add links in the description for whatever I talk about in the video. It may be the Amazon pages that I have to list for these because there's not a lot online in 2021 about these devices. I was really surprised to see that this device, the new Vision tablet, which is the best of the three, uh, the other two have two gigabytes of RAM. This has, uh, excuse me, have one gigabyte of RAM. These other two, this has two gigabytes. It has much better build quality. Um, I think it has more, better processing power. So that is the best of the three, but it's still uh, really underpowered to run a desktop operating system. Still was surprised though to see that this is still for sale on Amazon as a like a refurbished product for like $118. I paid $99 for it when it first came out. So, although I think that was a deal through Microsoft, um, I think I bought all these through Microsoft, and a lot of them had deals where you got like a free year of Office 365 as well. So it was cheaper, and you got Office 365 for free for a year. So it was actually a pretty good deal to get it directly from Microsoft. Uh, but those days are long gone. But yeah, I just wanted to show these uh, devices. And I am try to, I try to guard my uh, personal information. So I don't really want to, it would be great if I could open these devices up and show a lot of things. But with these desktop operating systems, it seems like my name and information constantly is popping up on all different types of pages. So it really limits what I can um, show. But I just want to see if I can just show the desktop real quick and see what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. The worst thing is you, you kind of, if you put it in desktop mode, you have to keep it in landscape because in portrait, it just, let's see, it just looks ridiculous. I mean, look how, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off before a lot of my information, uh, starts popping up. Uh, it'll probably turn back on because <sighs> that's what it seems to like to do. Now that I turned it off and went to the desktop. Ah, but yeah, these were fun uh, devices. One of the things that was kind of interesting at the time when these devices were current, as you saw, I have it on desktop mode. So it looks like the desktop on your laptop or desktop computer. Most of the users online only use it in tablet mode. So now tablet mode makes a lot of more sense because uh, it's much more touch friendly. Uh, there's a much bigger landing points for your fingers so that you can access things a lot easier. I hated the way tablet mode looked on this. So even though it's more practical, I kept it in desktop mode. It's a little hard to use it in desktop mode without a mouse. I mean, a lot of these things that are easy to click on a mouse are very hard to access with your finger. You get better with it, but still it was probably like 10 to 20% failure where you would try to click on one thing in the menu and you would click on the wrong thing. Uh, but yeah, I just hated the way tablet mode looked on these, so I, I kept it in desktop. But yeah, I just wanted to show these uh, devices. These mini Windows tablets were fun. If you used them in the past, uh, let me hear about it. 
And thank you for watching Digital Wandering. Signing off.